Hi, Brian Newneighbor here. I would like to show you how easy it is to download, install, and start using my pedal customizer software. First of all, you're going to need one of my stereo pedals. This includes the Wet Stereo Reverb pedal, the Echelon Stereo Echo pedal, and the Chroma Stereo Chorus pedal. Pedal Customizer software will not work with the Wet Mono Reverb pedal. You need one of my pedals that have the USB port. If you have one of these pedals, it will work with Pedal Customizer software. So first, let's download the software. Go to www.newneighbortechnology.com Then click on Gear, Pedal Customizer software. This brings you to the Pedal Customizer software page where there is some information about the current software. We're just going to click on Download Now. This brings you to the End User License Agreement. By the way, this software is freeware. It is free for you to download and install and use for all eternity. So go ahead and click on Agree and Download. This brings you to the download page. There are versions here for both Mac OS X and Windows XP through 8. So since we're on a Windows machine, we're going to select the latest version. And that's downloading now. So if you are on a Mac, the process will be similar. So let's go ahead and install this. Click Run. Yes. Accept the license agreement. Just leave the default settings. We're going to not launch this right now. We haven't started Pedal Customizer. And we're going to connect a pedal for the first time. And so I recommend that when you connect your pedal the first time, you do not have Pedal Customizer software running. Connect the USB cable and then apply power. Then you'll see this little bubble pop up. We're going to go ahead and click on this so you can see what's going on. This is installing a driver for the pedal. This driver is automatically included in your operating system. You do not need to install any separate drivers. So you'll see this is now ready to use. And now we're going to launch Pedal Customizer software. So you see here in the status bar it says pedal connected. If your pedal's not connected, we're going to go ahead and turn this off here to show you that it says connect USB and power. And then when you do connect it, you'll see the pedal connected indication here in the status bar. On the left-hand column, you'll see groups of the effects that are available. So you have reverbs, you have shimmer reverbs, choruses, echoes, and there's going to be other effects here as we continue to add new effects. So when you click on one of these groups, you can click on each program available within those groups, and it shows you on the right-hand side what the effect is, what each knob does, and some additional information about that effect. You don't need a pedal connected to see this part of it. If you want to install it and see the programs available and what each of them do, you can do that without the pedal connected. So now that we do have a pedal connected, let's go ahead and show you how simple it is to actually update your pedal. So let's pick one of these, click Update. 
and you'll see in the status bar right here it's updating and it's done. Now your pedal has a new program. This program replaces the program that was previously in the pedal. So it becomes a new pedal in essence. If you ever want to go back to the stock setting, you'll notice that the stock programs are right here in Pedal Customizer. It's always the first one in the group. So the stock reverb is here at the top. And in fact, we use Pedal Customizer in the factory to program every pedal. So you can rest assured that you are getting exactly the same program that we program into the pedal when you first receive it. So we're going to go ahead and change it back. And you can program your pedal as many times as you like. And you can program it to any of these programs. So even if you bought a reverb pedal, you can program it as a chorus or an echo or any of the other programs that are available in Pedal Customizer. So that's it. It's easy. Uh, feel free to download and use it and uh, check out the different uh, sounds and uh, send us your feedback. So go to the website www.newneighbortechnology.com and let us know. Thanks.